Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you an updated version on how to mod your Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 in 2023, the latest release. The last time I did a modded video like this, you guys absolutely loved it. So I just want to thank you guys so much for the support that you guys have been giving me in these modded videos. Also, the new patch and installer got released. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a updated modded tutorial for you guys. Also, I do want to mention that this does not work for PlayStation or Xbox or any console at all. All, only strictly PC. Also, if you have a cracked version of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, this does not work for that. So you have to own the legal Steam version. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, let's get straight into getting mods. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description of this video and click the first link. And it's going to take you to this website called 7zip.org. Now, this is a must thing you must have to extract the patcher and installer for later. So what you want to do is go to this download link right here where it says 23.00 you want to click the 64 bit download or 32 bit whatever your pc is i'm going to click the 64 bit download just click that one so click on download and it's going to start downloading a 7zip.exe file so once that's done downloading since i already have it i'm not going to open it up but basically you just open it up and then you have 7zip also quick disclaimer if you already have a software called winrar that is completely fine because winrar basically allows you to extract files as well but for this case in this video i'm gonna be using 7zip so yeah i just thought i'll mention that the next thing you're gonna want to do is click the second link in the description down below of this video and it's gonna take you to this website called videogamemods.com xenoverse mods and it's gonna take you to this eternity tools section now if you're not familiar with eternity tools basically this is going to be your xenoverse 2 patcher and installer so now what you're gonna want to do is click this big orange download button and click that and you're gonna see it downloading on the top right or wherever it downloads you're gonna see it downloading so once your eternity tools is done downloading what you're gonna want to do is open up steam then hover over your dragon ball xenoverse 2 then right click manage and then click on browse local file now it's gonna open up this main page of your dragon ball xenoverse 2 folder now all the things you see in here you're not gonna have yet until you extract the patcher and installer which we're gonna do that right now so now we're you're going to want to do is hover over your downloads don't click on it just right click on it and then click on open new window and once it opens a new window what you're going to want to do is minimize both of these folders side by side then you should see your eternity tools.zip on your downloads go ahead and open that up and you're going to see all these zip folders but we're going to only worry about two and those two are your xenoverse 2 ins.zip and your xv2 patcher so now the first thing we're going to do on here is open up your x xv2.zip and then you should see all of these files right here what you're going to want to do is highlight all of them and then just drag them on to the root of your dragon ball xenoverse 2 folder now i'm not going to do that since i already have the installer but yeah essentially what you're going to want to do is do that and it's going to do its thing and extract and once you're done extracting your xenoverse 2 ins.zip what you're going to want to do is do the same exact thing for your xv2 patcher take all this and then drag them across now i'm not going to do that since i already have them but yeah essentially what you're going to want to do is do that and it's going to extract the file so once you have all those files you can click out of that you do not need that eternity tools.zip anymore so once you have that congratulations you can now start adding mods now let me show you how it works exactly so the first thing you're going to want to do is check to see if your installer works so what we're going to do is go to xv2 ins.exe open that up and this is essentially your xenoverse 2 installer now I have 210 mods installed right now when you guys first open it up it's gonna ask to find your game path how do you find your game path basically you go to your Windows C Drive or D Drive in my case it's my D Drive and then find your steam library folder click on steam library then click on steam apps then click on common and then find your DB Xenoverse 2 folder and that's basically the folder you're gonna select for your game path now once you find your game path you are good to go but this whole mods installer is going to be empty so we're gonna actually need to find you some mods aj how do i get mods so all the mods you're basically gonna get are in this website right here your xenoverse 2 mods website every single mod that you're gonna find is gonna be here so yeah what you want to do is click on view mods and then just basically find the mod you want you know there's tons of cool mods that i like like character mods you know different maps and stuff like that for this case i'm gonna go ahead and download 
build this underwater pirate cave because why not it looks cool let's do it okay so i also want to mention i just clicked download and it took me to this website some modders do have their own websites so you actually have to download them from their websites so yeah let me click on download and if you guys want to do this with me feel free to do so as you can see all your mods are going to come out as an x2m file all your mods unless you have to download a launcher but that's a different story i'm going to do that in a different video when i teach you guys how to download dragon balls universe 2 revamp so once your mod actually downloads what you're going to want to do is come over here to where this folder is and with the green plus mark you want to open that and then go in your downloads and you should see the underwater pirate cave x2m or whatever mod you downloaded just open that up and it's going to say do you wish to install the following mod click on yes and just give it some time it should install just like that click ok and yeah that's basically how you install a mod now aj how do i get rid of a mod so basically what you want to do is find the mod that you want to get rid of click on it and then click on this paper with the little x i'm not actually going to clear it though or uninstall it that's basically how you essentially uninstall a mod now the absolute last step of this video is how to launch xenoverse with your mods now i cannot stress this enough please whatever you do do not launch xenoverse 2 through steam do not click this big green play button what you want to do is go to your steam right here hover over your dragon ball xenoverse 2 right click on it hover over manage browse local files and it's going to take you to this main page again go in the bin folder and then in the bin folder you should see this dbxv2.exe this is the application right here where you're going to launch your xenoverse 2 every single time now what i like to do to keep it organized i just basically create a shortcut and put it in my desktop you guys can do that or you can keep it on here whatever floats your boat but yeah let's go ahead and launch xenoverse 2 with mods as you can see xenoverse 2 just now open it says the game started just click ok and just like that we are in xenoverse 2 let's go check to see if our mods are loaded and installed i'm just gonna pick aj and then we'll go random it doesn't matter and as you can see i have a ton of modded maps which are right here as well but if we click on page down or if you're on controller just rb or something like that or r1 on playstation controller and boom you should get to your other modded map if you already have some but as you can see it says underwater pirate cave the mod has been downloaded so let's just open that up see if it works let's go the mod actually successfully installed and look at this map oh my god my my <laughs> my mouse sensitivity is crazy right now but yeah basically that's how you install install dragon ball xenoverse 2 mods but anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel feel free to like and subscribe so yeah guys without further ado i will see you in the next one peace out guys and goodbye